Today we're going to talk about the product rule when we're talking about exponents. The product rule simply says this, if you have the same base, you can add the exponents. So what does it mean to have the same base? Here's your example down here in rule form. It says if you have a to the m times a to the n, the bases would be a. Then you can take those exponents up there, the m and the n, and you can add them together to get a to the m plus n. A couple of examples down here at the bottom of that rule says 3 to the 4th times 3 to the 2nd. Those have the same base. The base is 3. We can take those exponents, the 4 and the 2, and we can add them together to get 3 to the 6th. So, coming over here to try it yourself, you have x to the 7th times x to the 4th. What that really means, because those bases are the same, is that you can take those powers of 7 and 4 and add them together to get x to the 11th. So to kind of show you where this rule comes from is let's just kind of think about what that would be like if we were to just write it out as exponents. This x to the 7th means I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 x's. This x to the 4th means I have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. If we were to take and just combine those all together, guess how many I have? I have x to the 11th. This is why that rule will work. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a couple of practice problems down here. So these get a little bit more difficult because if you notice we have more than one base right here. But we're going to just look at one base at a time. We have g to the third and g to the third. So that's going to be g to the three plus three. And then we're going to do our h's. On our h's we'll have h to the fifth plus h squared, so two. If we combine our powers now, we're going to have g to the sixth, because three plus three is six, h to the seventh for our answer. Okay, let's go and look at this next problem right here. This time it's asking us which direction to go to get the power that's missing. So again, we check to see if they have the same base. They do have the same base. The base is seven. So we know that we would have 7 to the 5 plus some number, this time represented by the question mark, that's going to be equal to 7 to the 14th power. Well, which number would we add here to 5 to make that 14? That question mark has to be the power of 9 because 9 plus 5 equals 14. So just a simple way to find the missing power. On this next example right here, we've never shown you yet what to do if there's numbers out in front. Well, this says 2a to the 4th times 5a squared. 2 and 5, we've always been able to multiply together, so we're still just going to multiply them together. 2 times 5 is 10, and then we're going to look at our powers. We'll have a to the 4 plus 2, so we have 10a to the 6th for our final answer there. Our next example over here has x times x cubed times x squared. The power that's on the x right here, it's not shown there, but it's the power of 1. We know that because there's 1x there. So this would be the power of x to the 1 plus 3, plus 2. So my answer to this problem is x to the 6th power. To finish those last couple of problems here, we're going to just take a look down here at these last two problems, and we're going to see if we can figure these out on our own. Again, the numbers out in front, we're just going to multiply those together. So negative 7 times 4 is a negative 28. Then we're going to do our v's. We'll have v to the 3 power plus the 8th power. So my answer is negative 28v to the 11th power. My very last problem here has some fractions in it. This time, though, we're going to just let our calculator do the fraction work. So on our calculator, we're going to do 1 half times 2 thirds 
because that would be the number out in front that we times together. When we do that, our calculator is going to give us 2 sixth, or it's going to reduce that to be 1 third for us. So we're going to have 1 third as our number out in front. Then we're going to add our powers together. There's a power of 3 there. And although it's not shown there, a power of 1 here. So I get 1 third C to the 4th power for my answer on that. That's the end of this note-taking guide. Thank you.